Tell you what, I can see the time when Bunny Cam is on the way, where the camera will be on the bunny and uh, the greyhound chasing. That clears the track. Off. Galaxy Girl came away beautifully. She leads early. On the outside, Supreme Bell goes forward. Wall Trader has begun well off the footy. Tuller Teller a little bit slowly away. Big Eddie gets to third as they settle down. Supreme Bell on the outside now reaches the lead from Galaxy Girl. Big Eddie. Bloomfield Star is fourth. Starlight Hanover has gone for a gallop. Rondelay has broken. Gallon Flyer is up in the air. Gear goes forward. Then Preneur's Wonder followed by on the inside as they settle down. Billy Bauer. Eight metres away going forward. Green Cape. Gallon Flyer won't settle down. Neither will Starlight Hanover. Six metres away back in the field is Classic. Janta Breaker, 15 metres to Wall Trader, then Tuller Teller, Gallon Fly getting going, followed by Rondelay. 80 metres at cover the field, travelling down the straight towards the 1800er, and in front is Supreme Bell by 8 metres to Galaxy Girl. Big Eddie, 6 metres away, third, followed by Bloomfield Star. Gear settles down fifth and one off the rail. He sits up on the outside without cover. Off the track as Gallon Fly going forward. Out of the straight they race and five back on the rail as Billy Bauer, 2 metres away on the outside as they race out of the straight Preneur's Wonder followed by Starlight Hanover Gallon Flyer three wide in the centre Green K back on the rail Classic Gent followed by Wool Trader on the outside of Tuller Teller and 10 metres away Rondelay at the lap and a half mark along the back and in front is Supreme Bell towards the 1300 by 8 metres to Galaxy Girl a metre on the outside Big Eddie now sitting up without cover back in the field Preneur's Wonder has gone for a gallop checking Green Cape and Tuller Teller forcing Rondelay out very wide Six metres away back in the field is Bloomfield Star to fourth on its inside Billy Bauer. Out three wide as Gallon Flyer still on its back in turn now Wall Trader. Then Gear. Starlight Hanover back on the rail followed by Classic Gent. Teller Teller tacks up followed by Rondelay. Second last and 15 metres away Green Cape and 10 metres away Preneur's Wonder. Lead time 139.3. A thousand to go in the straight and the leader still is Supreme Bell. Over three metres. Two on the outside Big Eddie. Third placing a metre back back is Galaxy Girl, then Bloomfield Star, Gallon Flyer always wide, on its back is Wall Trader he'll have to pull out four wide though out of the straight they race towards the 700 first quarter in 33.7 then Billy Bauer on the inside of Bloomfield Star, Gear in the centre, Starlight Hanover over the rail followed by Classic Gent, then Teller Teller, Green Cape, Preneur's Wonder and Rondelay, towards the 500 they race along the back, it's still Supreme Bell in front, by three metres to Big Eddie Bloomfield Star now pulls out three wide, no run for Galaxy Girl Gallant Flyer under pressure, Wool Trader pulls to the outside now, four wide followed by Gear, then Billy Bauer Classic Gent, Starlight Hanover Teller Teller, Preneur's Wonder, Green Cape has gone for a gallop and last is Rondelay second quarter, 30.8 around the turn towards the 250 out wide now, making ground Bloomfield Star is tackling Big Eddie and Supreme Bell, then Wool Trader from late down the outside, making ground at the 150, Bloomfield Star raced up to tackle Supreme Bell, Big Eddie is boxing on. Wool Trader has gone for a gallop. Then Galaxy Girl getting out. Bloomfield Star in front. Big Eddie is coming again, but Bloomfield Star hangs on and Bloomfield Star wins the meter to Big Eddie. Third Supreme Bell. Galaxy Girl close up out wide. Teller Teller ran home. Then Gear Starlight had over Classic Gent. Gallant Flyer in behind them, followed by Billy Bauer, Rondelay, Preneur's Wonder. Second last Green Cape. And last in after galloping at the 120 was Wool Trader. 356 Mooney Valley, race number seven, 35 and 6, the Victorian Square Trotters Association. National Hand 9 to 2 racing. National Hand came out okay. Bold Gamble and Misty Marmalade showing speed. Brandy Brother driving through. Brandy Brother led at the first corner. City Gamblers in bother and second last. Brandy Brother leads Bold Gamble into the back straight. Going to third, National Hand, Misty Marmalade. Then Coven Miss followed by Highlight. Well back in the field, City Gambler. Plugged for me is last. On the corner, Brandy Brother clear. Bold Gamble second running on, then two links to National Hand, Misty Marmalade and Highlight, in the straight, Brandy Brothers shows the way from Bold Gamble, Misty Marmalade wide and Highlight on the fence, Highlight or Misty Marmalade Highlight or Misty Marmalade, a thriller third National Hand, City Gambler, Brandy Brother, then came Coven Miss and Plug For Me Over yet <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely Geez, they were fancy doing that to it. Dollars or even money on the Queensland TAB racing and Gatwick's advice. Dipsy doodled when the starter said go. 
He galloped, he's still galloping. He drops out to a long last in game action. Hightailed out of the gate and went straight to the lead. Mobile Duke second, Pavolito third, and the MCs planted three wide on the first bend. Then Katara Air, followed by the South Aussie Derby winner in his three years old year, my ultrasound. Two lengths away came Sam Isaacs, and Gatwick's advice is a furlong away at the tail. Game action takes them down the back past the tea trees at the 1650. Game action leads by a length and a half over Moville Duke and My Ultrasound now revved up to chase the leader. The MC latches onto the back of My Ultrasound, a length away Pavolito. One to Katara Air, two and a half to Sam Isaacs and we can safely forget Gatwick's advice. First 500 metres took them 36.4, which is only leisurely for this grade of horse and game action. Is a length in front in the middle of the circle at the 1300. My Ultrasound is second, Moville Duke third behind the leader. The MC fourth, one out, one back around Pavolito, a length to Katara Air, one and a half to Sam Isaacs, and Gatwick's advice is trying to catch the field. Now he's only 50 metres away as they head down the stretch for the bell. They're running past the 1100 metres pole, 32.5, the first split of the mile, and game action, the favourite, shows the way by a touch more than a length over my ultrasound parked at his wheel. Mobile Duke is third, the MC fourth sitting on the back of my ultrasound, Pavolito's on the rail, then Katara Air, Sam Isaacs, and that long break to Gatwick's advice as they turn out of the straight. The 800 metres pole about to loom up and game action takes them to it. He leads by a length and a half to my ultrasound with Mobile Duke and Nick away on the fence. Then the MC on the outside of Pavolito from Katara Air, Sam Isaacs, and the long gap to Gatwick's advice. 32.8 that uh, second quarter, so game action's not using much gas here. He's still a length and a half in front of my ultrasound. Mobile Duke is third, the MC fourth, waiting to peel from Pavolito, Katara Air, and Sam Isaacs is last as McLean allows the favourite a little more rain, and he now starts to sizzle along. Game action pinched two and a half to Mobile Duke, then my ultrasound, followed by the MC, but the bird's flowing. Game action's a mile in front coming around the corner. Mobile Duke flat to the boards, then my ultrasound and the MC. McLean just whistling at game action. He's a mile in front. The MC starting to make ground now. Game action wins, second close. Or oh, Mobile Duke may be a nose in front of the MC. Then my ultrasound, followed by Sam Isaacs, Katara Air, Pavolito, and Gatwick's advice was last of all 57 and 7 the last half no wonder he left them behind 57 7. second pick in pre-post betting for the magic mile time trial series defoe with uh, gavin lang driving trainer is uh, ted dimler ted is driving the galloping prompter maple kiss who's uh, on the rail and about uh, eight meters behind defoe this uh, six-year-old gelding his best uh, time trial to date is 155.8 former New Zealander. He's been in the care of uh, Ted Demler for quite some time now before the Inter-Dominion series and he'll be over here for another uh, six to eight weeks. First quarter in 27.7 for Defoe. 27.7 recorded by this uh, gelding. Six-year-old, a very good horse indeed. Raced by the uh, Club Classic Lucky 7 Syndicate. At the winning post towards the 800 metres now he races uh, Defoe. And he looks to be uh, motoring along. Maple Kiss now. The mare comes off the fence with Ted Demler driving. Still about six metres behind uh, Defoe. And he records his second quarter in 28.5. 28.5 for uh, Defoe. So at 27.7 to 28.5. He's well on the way to uh, cracking the 155. If he can keep on going here, uh, Defoe. This uh, fellow, a former New Zealander, the galloping prompter, Maple Kiss. Draws up within about two metres of uh, Defoe. And have a look at his third quarter in 26.8. 26.8. So he is absolutely flying, Defoe. His sectionals have been outstanding. He's well on the way to breaking 155. If he can keep on going for 27.7, 28.5, 26.8. He comes to the 120 now, Defoe. Fastest time to date, 155.1. Oh, he's flying, uh, Defoe. He'll beat the 155.1 easily, Defoe. He gets to the line in 153. 
That is a new track record beating Popular Arms track record. A new track record to Defoe is 1.53. Let's go to Globe Derby. Time. Back on the inside then on settling Helen's Pleasure. And back to the tail Lancashire star. Now he doesn't sit long on Zulu. He's off three wide. Stylish Adios stays in. Romeo Chapel led. Four metres Zulu Lua around the outside. And as soon as he saw it coming on uh, Romeo Chapel, he sped up. Mercenary Wizards on the inside. Carly's Choice will grab the 1-1. One -one. Four metres to Stylish. Chatios, then two metres away on the inside. We had Helen's Pleasure. And back four metres, last of all, Lancashire Star. Halfway around the top turn. They've got just over a lap and a quarter left to run. First quarter of the last mile. Run in 30.4. The leader, Romeo Chapel, four metres in front. They steady a little again on the outside. Second, Zulu Lu. Mercenary Wizards in behind them. Carly's Choice, one by one. Helen's Pleasure, three back on the inside. Stylish Chatios is back, second last, but not that far from the lead. And and Lancashire Star at the tail. They race past the 800. The leader is uh, still Romeo Chapel. Zululu gets a little bit closer now on the outside. Back in behind the Mercenary Wizard. Then Carly's Choice. Now the second quarter, they slowed up to 31.7. They've sped up again now, though. Then Helen's Pleasure. Starly Shadios hasn't taken off yet. It's about to go now. And then Lancashire Star down the back. Romeo Chapel, the leader. Zululu under pressure, being asked to get a bit closer. The leader's still going strongly. Starly Shadios is running home pretty well. Carly's Choice in the centre. Then Mercenary Wizard, Helen's Pleasure, Lancashire Star pulling wide. Still Romeo Chapel, the leader. Zulu Lu's under enormous pressure to try and get on terms. Starly Shadios continues to come at them. They went 29-3 the third quarter. Lancashire Star wide and then Helen's Pleasure in the straight. Romeo Chapel in front. Starly Shadios goes to it. Still there Zulu Lu, but he can't get the other pair. It's Romeo Chapel joined by Starly Shadios and Starly Shadios too strong. Two metres. Romeo Chapel second. I think Zulu Lu's hung on for third. Just in advance of Helen's pleasure. Then Lancashire star Carly's choice. And Mercenary Wizard last in. Number four, the winner, Stylish Adios. And racing on the outside, the best out tugger man. I seen he start trying to get through on the inside. Charging over wide out was Bolchik. Getting through the fave, Oakley Bale has taken the lead. Oakley Bale led settling down from Bolchik. Going to third was Zelda. On the outside, Bernie's chief, followed by I seen he star Silver Houdini, Tavira's Bruton and tugger man. On the home corner, Oakley Bale kicked away. Leads by four lengths to Bolchik. Second in third position, Zelda and Silver Houdini. But it's all Oakley Bale and Oakley Bale charging right away. Oakley Bale wins well. Bolchik second, third Zelda and then Silver Houdini. A long break in the field to Iceni Star and the last three at Tugger Man, Bernie's Chief and Tavira's Brute. Three wide as the winner Oakley Bale has been able to get the split as they packed right up going into the first corner. $2.40 and $1.40. Can they break a $1.53? We'll find out in about uh, a minute and 52 and a half I'd say. Franco Tiger He's on his way. The galloping prompter is It's Akron with Philip Gath in the cut. And he's back some eight metres behind uh, Franco Tiger. What would be going through Brian Gath's mind at the moment, knowing Defoe rated a 153. We're about to get the, uh, the quarter for uh, Franco Tiger. Keep in mind that uh, Defoe uh, clocked a 27.7. And Franco Tiger has recorded a 27.7. So a 27.7 for uh, Franco Tiger. Identical as uh, Defoe in the previous. Outstanding horse, Franco Tiger. He comes down inside the 1,000 metres now. At 27.7 the first uh, quarter for Franco Tiger. The galloping prompter, it's Akron. About 10 metres away behind him with uh, Philip Gath driving. And we're about to get the, uh, the second quarter in 29.3. 29.3. So he's about a half second slower than uh, Defoe recorded in his... Uh, second sectional as he goes to the back straight at the 600 now Franco Tiger and Brian Gath will ask him to go just that little bit quicker if he possibly can now with the 27.7 29.3 he's looking at about a 154 at the moment as he comes towards the 400 meters now Franco Tiger the galloping prompter Ritz Akron draws up within two meters of him and his third quarter in 27.3 27.3 so uh, Still about uh, five tenths uh, slower than uh, Defoe recorded for his uh, third quarter, so he will have to produce something very special over the final few metres of this uh, time trial. Franco Tiger, Brian Gath really asking him to produce that little bit more. The clock ticks over to 1.50 now. Franco Tiger, he reaches the line in 
153.9, 153.9 recorded by Franco Tiger, nine tenths slower than that recorded by Defoe in the previous event, but still an outstanding performance indeed by Franco Tiger. Last horse to a Magic Mile time trial at Mooney Valley in 153.9. So the uh, winner of the Magic Mile time trial series, Defoe, in a new class and track record in 153. Second, Franco Tiger in 153.9. And the third best is our Brenray in 155.1. So unofficial for a Franco Tiger. His last quarter. There's the light. Arms fold. Racing. Hasty Henry came out of the gate very quickly. Roman Rebel and David Hope from out wide showing a lot of speed. Kim Bolton Jane's on the fence. Then Loves a Punt. Sunset Liqueur and Deerham going through in the centre. Followed by Ken Shadow in front of Johnny Manjaro. Jeremy's girl. Oh, there's trouble. Deerham got into bother. Loves a Punt got into bother. Talia the favourite was flattened. Talia flattened. Jeremy's girl got into bother. Deerham just won't answer the helm. Deerham gallop and went left, right and centred and collected them like a bowling ball collects ten pins. And down the back, Tally is giving them a huge start. Jeremy's girl still galloping. David Hope in front at the mile marker. Hasty Henry second. The driver of David Hope mustn't want to be there because David Hope's crawling and here comes Kimbolden Jane to oblige. 36.8 for the first 500 metres and Kimbolden Jane said thank you and went to the lead. At the 1400 metres pole, Kimbolden Jane two to David Hope, two and a half to Hasty Henry. Henry. Johnny Manjaro's fourth on the inside of Roman Rebel cutting the breeze. Loves a punt tacked onto the back of Roman Rebel. Ken Shadow on the rail. Two to Sunset Liqueur. One to Talia who's tacked on. They were travelling that slowly. Exodus lasted the main group. Then a long break to Deerham and Jeremy's girl who was flattened is a long last of all as they run down the straight past the 1100. 31.9 first split of the mile. Kimbold and Jane by more than one to David Hope. A length and a half to Roman Rebel in the breeze, Hasty Henry on the fence. Loves a punt, one back in the running lane, sitting on the back of Roman Rebel and Johnny Manjaro's awkwardly placed on the rail. Then Sunset Liqueur on the outside of Ken Shadow. Talia second last of the main group on the inside of Exodus and there's a long break to Durham and Jeremy's girl. At the tea trees again with 750 to travel, 32 the second section. Kimbold and Jane, two in front of David Hope, two to Roman Rebel on the outside of Hasty Henry. Loves a punt now, peels three wide and gets going as Johnny Manjaro shunts away from the fence. One to Sunset Liqueur, then Ken Shadow, Exodus and Talia, last of the main group at the 400. Kimbold and Jane led and Cremens had a couple of good long looks over his shoulder. Now he allows Kimbold and Jane more leather and she sprints. Finds two and a half. David Hope is second. Loves a punt third then Hasty Henry. Roman Rebel. Johnny Manjaro. Sunset Liqueur and Tally is the widest runner on the bend. Kimbold and Jane bolted away at the top of the lane. Leads by two to Hasty Henry who's into the clear. Then David Hope battling away but Kimbold and Jane's much too good and coasts down to the line and wins easily. Kimbold and Jane Jane first, David Hope second, Hasty Henry third, then Exodus, Sunset, Lequeur, Talia, Ken Shadow, Loves a Punt, Johnny Manjaro, Roman Rebel, a long break to Jeremy's girl and Durham, who caused a few problems, came in at the tail of the field. 186, Kim Bolton, Jane doing it well over David Hope. Expected to uh, drop out. Ready to go, race 10 of the night, uh, racing, White Snip away okay, Flat Top's won the start, White Snip is showing speed, Flat Top leads at the first corner, in front and leads by three lengths, Braidwood Boy, White Snip the outside, moving to fourth was Barley Charlie, and then two lengths, Silverleaf, Adios Prince, next to last, Red Ridge, Darcy and Crazy Jumper, out of the straight, Flat Top in front, quickly going to second, White Snip, third, Braidwood Boy, Barley Charlie, Silverleaf, Adios Prince, and back at the tail, Red Ridge, Darcy, tailed off Crazy Jumper, White Snip, the South Australian went to the lead on the home corner from Flat Top. Braidwood Boy third, then Barley Charlie, but it's White Snip the leader. White Snip is out by three lengths to Braidwood Boy and Barley Charlie. White Snip in front, Braidwood Boy, Barley Charlie running on. Braidwood Boy, the boulder will get up. Braidwood Boy got the money from White Snip and Barley Charlie. In fourth position, Red Ridge Darcy, followed by Silverleaf Adios Prince. Flat Top, and here's the. Nine and a photo, possibly eight from five. They're off at the valley. Lead time 23.5 in front Sam Mack by four metres for Colburn Breeze is content to sit up outside the leader. 
Two metres away, third, Rothcliffe, followed by Franco Alec, fourth. Then Sharp Ambro, You Wish is second last and switching back to the rail and six metres away on the top turn last and one off the fence is Constantine. Towards the 1,250 metres they race in the leader Sam Mack by two and a half metres to per Colburn Breeze. On her back in turn and fourth is Franco Alec with cover. Rothcliffe on the rail, six metres to You Wish who's third last and three back on the fence on his outside is Sharp Ambro and Constantine is last. First quarter, 31.9. In the straight with a round to go. The well-tried Sam Mack in front in his favourite role. By two metres, two on the outside for Colburn Breeze. is now making this leader work. Third, Rothcliffe's had a pretty good run. Every chance on the outside for Franco Elect, followed by Sharp Ambro on the outside of You Wish, who's second last out of the straight, and five metres away, Constantine. At the 800 metres out of the straight, they race, and still in front of Sam Mack. Nearly three metres, two on the outside for Colburn Breeze. Second quarter in 31 point nine. Third a metre back is Rothcliffe every chance, followed by Franco Elect. Well, he couldn't have had an easier run on the outside. Then Sharp Ambrose, second last on the outside of You Wish, and still last is Constantine. Franco Elect now pulls out three wide. Towards the 450, they race. He makes a line of three now, Franco Elect. He joins and shades for Colburn Breeze. Sam Mack has given in without one kick. You Wish has got out in plenty of time now, making ground the outside from Sharp Ambrose, Rothcliffe, and Constantine. Third quarter, 29 point one, 200 metres out on the turn Franco elect in front by three wieners, you wish on the outside is that after it, Sam Mack run last Rothcliffe is getting out making ground at the 120, Franco elect a metre in front, you wish on the outside has almost got it though, you wish ranged up to tackle Franco elect you wish put its nose in front Franco elect is coming again, you wish got the upper hand right on the line and you wish has won by Nick to Franco elect third Rothcliffe, then Sharp Ambro, Constantine for Colburn Breeze, and carving up badly after leading, last in was Sam Mack. Gaff Gavin Lang duel in the first was noticeable, and so that one there. Sensational to watch those drivers going to the 22.30, the journey they're off. Inside two didn't show any early speed. Nobley's going forward. Master Dior seems to go a bit roughly shortly after the start. Uh, Nobley and Frosty Freedom, two of the best out. Nobley's going to head off Frosty Freedom into the first turn. Sylvie's sister moves up third. Around them early, three deep is Cassandra. Further back then also going forward early as she's a charm. McGregor's fancies four wide on that turn. Then Swift Spirit outside of Casino Charlie. Game over finds itself a long way back on Settling. And then further back in the field then to Tolvan Bronze. Back to the tail goes the favourite, Master Dior. Neighbourly leads. Here's She's a Charm around the field, though, quickly now. And She's a Charm's going to go to the lead. So She's a Charm beaten Monday, but this time the favourite is last, not sitting on its back. Around them comes McGregor's Fancy. Lead time, 46.9. McGregor's Fancy moves up second. Back in behind them, Neighbourly. Uh, now with the trail, one out and one back is Cassandra, although it's not quite on the back of McGregor's Fancy, which is testing the leader. Then Frosty Freedom, the rails. Three metres further back, Sylvie's sister. Gee, they've gone hard. Swift Spirits on the outside of Casino Charlie. Well out of it, game over. Tolvan Bronze on its outside and Master Dior at the tail. Well, she's a charms had no early piece where McGregor's fancy on the outside and down on the inside, she's a charm. They've gone very, very hard. Five or six metres to Neighbourly. Cassandra on the outside. Back in behind runners, Frosty Freedom. Then two metres to Sylvie's sister. They're followed by Casino Charlie on the inside of Swift Spirit. Spirit. Still well back, Tolvan Bronze, game over. Now Master Dior comes three deep. They went 30.4 for the first quarter. And still McGregor's Fancy is shading. She's a charm. McGregor's Fancy the outside. She's a charm the inside. They have slowed. Off the bit, Cassandra. Nabely's had a pretty good run. Three deep around the field comes Master Dior strongly now. Then Sylvie's sister in the centre. On the inside, Frosty Freedom. Swift Spirit comes out three deep onto the back of Tolvan Bronze. Casino Charlie in the centre and then game over. They slowed up to 32 seconds that quarter as they go into the back, 600 out. And the leader, she's a charm. Master Dior runs to second. Dropping out of it sharply, McGregor's fancy. Nobly st still in behind them. Then Tolvan Bronze still making some ground. Further back in the field, then to Frosty Freedom. Swift Spirits wide but struggling. Casino Charlie held up. A Sylvie sister taken out of it. Cassandra there and then game over. Coming off the back, she's a charm and Master Dior. They're five metres in front of Tolvan Bronze. Further back in the field. 
field then to Neighbourly. Frosty Freedom Casino, Charlie Cassander on the turn and Master Dior getting the upper hand. She's a charm battling away. Further back in the field then to Tov and Bronze. Frosty Freedom the outside, Neighbourly and Cassander. Master Dior a couple in front. She's a charm under enormous pressure but Master Dior, they're pretty tired. Master Dior wins. Second placing, she's a charm. Cassander got up for third. In advance of Frosty Freedom, Tov and Bronze Neighbourly. Then Casino Charlie game over. Further back in the field, Siv Sylvie's sister. McGregor's fancy and Swiss Spirit has pulled up short of the others. 7 11 12, Globe Derby. Master Dior, she's a charm. And Cassander, 7 11 12. Well, there's a 13 to 2 chance. Here comes the gate. There's the light. Arms fold. Racing. Sammy Bye Bye in the centre came out quickly. Bon Hero began well, electrifying fast away, and Els Manoeuvre and Red Chip are mastering some speed after the start. Red Chip's caught deep as they charge into that first bend, and Electrifying went looking for the lead. Electrifying in front with Bon Hero second, and Red Chip the favourites a length away third. Wonder Uzi Baba settling on the inside of Sammy Bye Bye, and then Destiny Cools on the outside of Virgo Burn, followed by General Grant from the clouds and Els Manoeuvre had now dropped back to the tail of the field. Electrifying got to the front, the brakes went on, the driver of Electrifying must have been looking for a leader and here it comes the General charges to the front General Grant raced to the lead and the first section of the race took them 35.1 it's General Grant three in front of Electrifying, two to Bon Hero and ahead away is Red Trip, the favourites trapped in the breeze. A length and a half to Sammy, bye bye on the outside side of Uzi Bar Bar, Wonder Destiny calls, followed by From the Clouds on the outside of Virgo Burn, and Els Manoeuvre last as they round the bend at the 1200 metres peg. General Grant still with a handy break, still three in front of Red Trip, who strides up on the outside of Electrifying. Destiny calls now three deep, allowed to run, Sammy Bye Bye in the middle. Bon Hero on the fence, and Virgo Burn got off the rail and shifted three deep behind Destiny calls. Uzi Bar Bar follows Virgo Burn Burn, then from the cloud and Els Manoeuvre last as they pack on the turn out of the straight. 32's first quarter of the mile and General Grant is the leader. 800 to run, General Grant one in front of Destiny Cools and a length and a half to Electrifying. Red Chip now with cover behind Destiny Cools. Virgo Burn three deep, then Bon Hero, Sammy Bye Bye Uzi Baba from the clouds and Elmas Manoeuvre. 31 second section of the mile. It's General Grant and Eck in front of Destiny he calls. Virgo Burns moved up three deep around Red Chip. Electrifying on the fence. Then Sammy Bye Bye. Bon Hero Uzi Baba in front of From the Clouds and Els Manoeuvre. General Grant three quarters clear at the 300. Destiny calls under pressure. Virgo Burn looming up wide. A length away Red Chip giving the leader three as they turn the bend. General Grant in front at the top of the lane. Virgo Burn the first challenger. Red Chip's under the whip. General General Grant taken on by Virgo Burn. Virgo Burn took the lead from General Grant. Then Red Chip and Destiny Calls diving up on the fence, but Virgo Burn's won. Virgo Burn has found a new lease of life and puts two wins together. Virgo Burn first. Toss of the coin for the miners. General Grant, Destiny Calls, Red Chip. They're the three the judge has to split. Then Bon Hero, Els Manoeuvre from the clouds electrifying. Followed by Sammy Bye Bye and Uzi. Uzi Bar Bar was last of all. Number nine, Virgo Byrne, driven by Mark Bellamy, is.